Uh, all right, so uh, welcome back. Um, this is going to be the defense report for this week. Um, like I said, I didn't plan to do these every week, um, but there was some pretty interesting stuff here during the week. So um, uh, yeah, I just wanted to take a look at that. We had some pretty good successes here and there as well, um, which is kind of interesting. Uh, I want to see what uh, you know how, how how these things played out um, where I did win. Interestingly enough, I the first one, which should be the easier one. I ended up losing, and then the rest uh, I didn't. Maybe the first one is easier, harder because maybe the first one should be harder <clears throat> because no one's in their placements yet, right? Uh, maybe I fought someone who should, who's like in top one k or something, um, just because of how it randomly matched us up. But uh, let's take a see, take a look, and see what's going on here. Um, okay, so uh, it looks like. We just got outgunned here, like, pretty drastically. I mean, you got Gilforce, Tabarn, you've got uh, Edelgard doing whatever Edelgard does, and then obviously Lysithia here is just blowing people up like it's no one's business. Um, actually, I'll be right back. All right, so, yeah, sorry about that. Um, but yeah, so this looks like a pretty uh, interesting team. Uh, it doesn't necessarily look like there's a whole lot of strategy other than just going there and, like, Beat the living crap out of everything, um, but let's let's see what happens. Um, da -da -da. Okay. So far, so far, so good. Uh, what is this? This is the Camilla build again. I think I'm gonna switch her. So basically, after some of the things that I've seen uh, this week, I might just switch her over to uh, just running a uh, Fortress Res defense. I already gave it to her. I've been testing it out in other places, but um, yeah. But let's see how this goes. Okay, so we all get dropped by seven. So thirty damage by two. Okay, so I guess the question there is It's kinda of interesting that he still got the uh that even though I had the minus one reduction. Because it should have just been down to two, right? Oh no, I hit him. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, it's because it was, she wasn't. She was no longer over the eighty thre threshold, so it didn't do very much. Yeah, that's fine. And of course, she's gonna. He's just gonna die. Uh, yep. Actually, let's uh take off animations for this because we're gonna go through quite a bit of these. Okay. Uh, of course, Edelgard just destroys anything in her path. Um, I like that eye patch on Edelgard. I, I wanted to do it. On, like, if I had an Edelgard, I would have done that, so too. Uh, so yeah, this Tabarn is just obviously very oppressive. Um, 45 defense. I, I didn't realize his defense stat was so high. Um... I guess it's. I mean, I guess it's just forty with the five from Naga. That's pretty interesting. Like I said, I. I it, it's. It seems. It seems high-ish. Uh, the Sky Parry Claw. And it's got the bra The whatever. So that's fine. Okay, so this time, yeah, it's something a little different. Um, the question is, how do we how do we deal with this? Uh, how how should I have prepared for this going forward? Um, there's really not a whole lot you can do against a uh, such a hard hitting Tabarn. Um, aside from you know, like 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 we always mention, I guess it's it's pertinent to mention all the time is that uh, we need a more heavy magical threat with more range than what I have with Micaiah. Um, as well as just Camilla can be a little more tanky, which is why I'm putting the, uh, which is why I'm, I'm deciding to go with the other thing. So I'm going to sack any, any and all kill potential because she doesn't have that much to begin with. Um, and just giving her just full, like, survivability. Uh, the problem, one of the problems here was that the, uh, bolt tower hit me, so I didn't get, um, the guard to go off, which was unfortunate. But, uh, other than that, I mean... Not a whole lot more we could have done. Um, he just like the Tabarn, like these other units are pretty interesting, but they're just there to be there because Tabarn basically did all the work. So it's a 
it's not too bad. Um, and replay. Let's go back. Okay, let's go to the second to last one here. So we lost this one too, but we got caught by the by the um, lift loss control there. Okay, so Ophelia, Deirdre. Well, this is this is classic Deirdre. Well, not even like merged or anything. Uh, what's, I don't know what's going on here. Let's see how I lost to this because this looks pretty interesting. Honestly, I don't know what the, the game plan is here exactly. So also I also want to point out that two two attacks in a row already. The bolt tower has been here and not here. Um, so I think depending going forward, I think it's important to to, to reconsider maybe the positioning of Duma. Uh, like it might be better served here to get rid of these. But I don't know. We'll we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll uh, keep going here. We'll look at some more. I really do like this positioning though. Of course, twenty five plus zero. Wow, that's insane. She did no damage. Uh, we're all going to heal to some degree, but it's not like it's that big a deal anyway. Uh, then everybody's going to move themselves out of position because they're all idiots. Yeah. I think part of what's costed me here, right, is just the simple fact that Camilla can't run, um, can't run the distant counter. Um, funnily enough, like it's one of those things where it's just the weakness of of having such, you know, being such an old unit and having such poor stats uh, that I have to like, you have to constantly be patching them up, so you can't afford to run something like distant counter. Um, so that's kind of interesting. Um, yeah, as long as Acarix is throwing out uh, ridiculous um, Sacred Seal ideas, it'd be funny to to finally see a distant counter in the seal or a close counter in the seal. Um, would that solve uh, Camilla's problems? Probably not. She still needs the IO shield to not like die. But for those of you out there who are running Gurgarant, uh, what's his name? Uh, running um, uh, Ashnard with Gurgarant, he's he's pretty good about that. Um, you could probably run him. With like a fortress res defense in the a slot and then running with the uh distant counter in the seal uh isn't that scary um and then the attack speed rain in the c and then in the b slot have the guard or literally anything maybe the quick repost if you want <laughs> that just sounds horrifying man uh but anyway um so we they didn't get the last pot uh we lost that on the fact that ophelia kept bombing us uh and we couldn't really deal with it because uh, of the the dancing and the range that they had like just kind of scooping each other out of the way uh, which wasn't too bad the like I said the Camilla survived which was pretty good um, what is this music it's weird and I, I don't think I've ever heard this on here it looks it's very retro I like it uh, but anyway uh, seeing as I sur she survived but uh, unfortunately there's there's like it's one of those things where it's like there's just not much that could have been done like she survived sure but she still didn't do anything to stop her and then they just proceeded to go on with about their business um so that's kind of a problem of course uh the other problem it, it's like it's good she was there but like i mean you know like i said ashnard may or may not have done equally as well there um so it's always one of those things where you have to pay attention to your if you're running Camilla, someone as, as non-optimal um, as Camilla, it's really important to like pay attention to scenarios and be like, all right, was was did she lose because you know she wasn't the best option like an Ashnard, or was there really not much I could have done there? And, and I think in that situation, there wasn't a whole lot I could have done there. Um, so let's kind of see how this plays out. She still has the uh, whatever. Okay, so I think from, from what it looks like, they're just going to go with... Uh, um, her, her and Lucina just tanking everything, which isn't too bad. Uh, what, what does Lucina have? That's fine. 
Um, I just I'm curious to see what her stats look like. What is she plus one? Oh, okay. Uh, okay. So let's just see what happens. He might just go with uh, her. Yeah, I guess he just went with her. That's very interesting. Uh, let's see what I got here. Okay, so she just died. I'm not sure what is what the plan was there. Maybe I get. I mean, I think ultimately that he just didn't. He probably just didn't know that uh, she had ground orders and that he had that kind of movement. Because otherwise, that just didn't. That move didn't make a whole lot of sense. Uh, then she's dead. And then they just left. Yep. Uh, so that's how that went. I think that was more of like I said that that was more of like the ground orders caught someone off guard, which you never really want to bank on too much. Like you never want to assume the person you're playing is worse than you, because then you're just sort of defeating the purpose at that point. Okay, so speed. So this is okay. So this is very interesting. This is another build that I think would be a lot better because you can actually fight against. Um, you can actually just sit there and tank. Uh, what's her name? Like Veronica's. And you know you'd be pretty good against uh, you know just everybody like you know she's still she's still very strong thanks to this speed. Well, I don't know if I'd go with speed here, but she's still strong thanks to this and and all her stat bonuses and everything towards um uh, what's her name the Fimble Vetter no not Fimble Vetter um Ilfinger what's her name Thrasier um she can like I said she can fight against uh, Veronica's which are. It's, it's it, as you can see from my gameplay and and like you know like throughout the week and even in your gameplay, there's certain times where she can be very detrimental and very strong, but a lot of times she's just kind of thrown around haphazardly. So whether you want to build for that or not is 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 up to you entirely. Because really, there's no one else who's running anything that you can't like counterattack against other than that. Um, but is this nice null C? Oh, this is no follow up. Okay, never mind, never mind. Um, but yeah, so like while the null C disrupt is good. I'm never going to say it's going to be bad. It's only really good against Veronica because there's not a whole lot of other people running things you can't counterattack against unless someone's like a wind sweep, uh, wind sweep or water sweep uh, uh, Byleth or something like that, right? Um, but yeah, so it's, it's interesting to consider. But the fact that there's no full, the null, the null, the null follow up three is on here is pretty good. It basically uh, patches up her speed a little bit so that they can't, they can't fall, they can't do follow up attacks without uh, outspeeding her. And with this, and this, uh, that's what plus six. Plus six, so it's twelve. She's at forty-six speed plus Fimble better gets her to fifty speed. So she's a decently speedy girl. Um, yeah. So I mean, the the no follow-up is 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 a very good uh, tool here, but it's, it's always hard to go with over like something like a lull or something even uh, even more uh, more broken. Um, but let's let's see where we're going here. It's got uh, non-merged. Plus six. I like this build. Uh, I don't know how I feel about the defense solo. It might have just been a simple fact of like they, that's all they had, the speed defense one, so they just threw it on her. Uh, but yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about that one. The red smoke is obviously uh, perfect for her. So let's go and see what let's see what happens here. I think they lose this one as I just I think I just realized. She has more attack and more defense thanks to the Astra season. Yeah, so she's at 31. Minus six, minus six. So let's see what happens here. So just waiting for this to pop off. Okay. What's she gonna do? Okay, that's fine. I think they're kind of screwed here though because then Camilla's just gonna kill her, right? Maybe? Or that too. Then Camilla might hit her, I don't know. Okay. Okay, so I think at this point the plan B, yeah, it's usually how, how it goes, right? Like on all on Astra it's kinda of funny because you always have like a plan B, which is your Altina. <laughs> yep. And that's kinda of the one of the things I like the I liked about Camilla is that she can bait like she she does a good job of baiting people into bringing, um, like trying to just kill her with Altina and be like, oh, it's no big deal, uh, and then they end up just dying, um, which is what I really enjoyed about her. But uh, unfortunately, uh, I might have to give that up for general, more general purpose um, tankiness. Okay, so we defeated two there. Let's go see what's going on here. 
So I did pretty well against this one. I lost only half the uh, Aether I would have normally. Ooh, I can already tell why I lost to this one. Look at all this red. Oh, uh, there's her. I mean, this guy is, there's no matter when you find him, he's like irritating to a degree that's unbelievable. So I basically lost this one on the fact that like Leaf is, I'm not gonna say he's unbeatable, but like, gosh damn, it's like, it's hard to deal with him. He's very strong. Um, especially like my team, I have all kinds of greens. Like if I, like if, if I had like a, maybe Gurgarant, uh, what's the name? It might've been gone, gone a little bit better, but even then it's like, he still, he does a lot of damage is the bottom line there. Um, so fortunately I caught him out with the uh, Duma thing there as well, which again, it's like, it's fine. Uh, so yeah, I can, you know, see, we can see from here what uh, what's going on. So we, we got to kill one, but uh, other than that, we ended up uh, getting destroyed, basically. Let's we'll see what's going on over here. Yeah, so I think, you know, this is why I wanted to showcase this this season, because I, I've been losing and, and winning, I guess, um, I guess a bunch of different interesting stuff. I mean, it wasn't all just bikes and leafs like, you know, previous seasons. It's like, you know, we've got, you know... Ophelia running as the main just like nuker everywhere we got uh we had to barn we had you know leaf was there I mean we had you know it's, it's, it's interesting and look at this team I mean what's going on here right um here we go this guy took my advice uh plus 10 uh, Ashnar or you know maybe he just had common sense <laughs> um so yeah there you go I mean the Ashnar with the Gurgarant <clears throat> uh she's gonna be just a a mean threat so let's kind of see what, what's going on here Okay. Did we win this one? I think we did. And it might have been off the fact that, like, Paolo might have just, like, destroyed him. Okay, it was off. So even the mighty Ashnard um, <clears throat> can't take a... Uh, uh super boost uh, well not super boosted but pretty decently boosted uh duma to the face like that so that's pretty that's pretty uh what's the word pretty reassuring i guess and then obviously she just proceeds to kill this guy here uh yeah and at this point they just leave okay so that's very interesting um so the last three here uh so that one Again, it's kind of interesting to look at like successes because like there's not a whole lot to glean from it. It's like, oh, the thing you did was successful. It's like, oh, okay. How do I, I should I be worried about doing what I did there but better? I mean, it's like, you know, what, what is the conducive steps to take after um, successful, like, uh, and now from, from successful defenses, I guess. Uh, so I'm not sure what's going on here. I think it's like an Altina thing. Let's see. Okay, so I think that's what lost her. Uh, the fact that he went for that, or he or she went for that, uh, that tower basically secured it. This is why you want to put it there, because either they have to take the debuffs. <laughs> oh my gosh. There you go. Duma putting in work for once in his entire life. That's hilarious, actually. Let's see how the rest of this plays out. Duma just like walked up in here and sniped two guys without even giving a crap. And then she's gonna get hit. Yep. Very nice, very nice. I like it. Uh, I guess some takeaways that I'm getting from this season as well as uh, other seasons is I need to really reevaluate where I'm putting um, that Pala. Um, she's not doing as, like, she hasn't really done anything, right? She doesn't really kill anybody. Um, but anyway, like, I guess it's the, the thing is, it's like, it's the threat that she's there that makes certain positions so hard, which is why people bait in other positions other than, like, certain ones. Unless they're bringing, like, um, bike, and then she, he just sits there, and if, if Paola hits her, it doesn't really matter. But again, like, Paola's not as useful because I don't have enough, um, uh, like red threats to help cover her end on that part. You can just put a green there, not worry about it. 
um, right? So if I had a red there, it would be harder because now that green has to like deal with that red and everything else. Everything else is green and blue, and he can you know a, red, a, a decent green can just sit there and tank that. Um, so yeah, I, I, like I said, it always comes back to the same thing. You just need a really good red threat, and unfortunately, I'm liking that. Uh, so this, uh, here we go. We're back to form again, I guess, with the bike here. Uh, let's let's actually take a look at his build. So it, you always want, if you're reviewing stuff like this, you always want to see what people are building on their bikes to see, like, when you go into the like the the Fire Emblem uh, damage calculator or like the, the the team battle simulator, whatever that that thing is called. I don't remember. It's like math. Um, when you look at that, you want to kind of get a general consensus of what how bikes are being built. Um, and this one seems to be coming up a lot, I think, the, the Quick Repulse Null C Disrupt. Um, so yeah, it's very interesting. <laughs> yeah, see, so you just kind of have, her, have him sit there, tank everything, tank the world. Yeah, so went about uh, the way one could have expected it to have gone, <laughs> which is fine. Um, yep. So I guess there's not much a whole lot else to see with uh, see here other than just uh, losing to bike again. <laughs> it's actually kind of interesting though because it's like it takes a really good red threat to really uh, even consider hurting bike. Though, funnily enough, you really want the, um, like having the, yeah, anyway, um, yeah, there's not much else to say other than just uh, you need a, uh, a decent red threat, which, like I said, the the Summer Violet is probably what I'm going to be aiming for. Hopefully I have enough orbs to, to get her whenever she comes back. <laughs> uh, I, I mentioned in one of my videos, actually, the, the, the dual hero special banner thing coming and I thought she was going to be on there, and I, I, you know, some, from what I heard, it, it, it felt like she was going to be on there, but I guess uh, she wasn't, so that kind of sucks. Um, but yeah, so now I just got to be, I guess I just have to be waiting until I get another Byleth. Um, do I want to get a plus 10 Byleth? <laughs> probably not. Uh, the reason I say that is because if I have to wait till next year, then I'm probably going to have about, you know, a thousand orbs by then. Um, you make about 300 orbs a month, something like that. Uh, give or take um, a lot of free-to-play people make about 300 orbs uh, depending on how diligent you are and how like you know You're hunting down every single orb you can get I kind of just take the ones from arena take the ones from you know Whatever's easily available whatever's there But like you know sometimes you have to go into the the, the trials thing and then look at each individual trial and see where um, See where the orbs are and go do this. It's like ah, it's like I'll win with this kind of team. And it's like mm. I don't know. I just get kind of lazy when it comes to that kind of stuff especially because like I said I, I'm playing this and and, and Another game but I think on average, I, I tend to average around 300 orbs, I think. Um, most of that stuff for, that I have now is from um, like this month. Maybe a little bit from last month, too, because of uh, a few things I summoned on. But yeah, so I mean, I wouldn't I wouldn't say that. But the point is, if I have to wait a whole year, that's 12 months, right? Which 12 months, uh, 300 orbs a month at 12 months is like 3,600 orbs. Um, I don't know how many it'll take to plus 10 her, mind you, but... Um, be interesting. It would be an interesting experiment to see. Um, it's also not a very good choice to be plus tenning, uh, regardless. Like, I don't know. Like, if I want to plus ten any unit, yeah. Like, I've never like that's that's kind of another thing. I probably with uh, in terms of motivation for damn this 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 uh, Gunthra is hitting hard. She's probably got a bunch of debuffs on everybody. Uh, oh, she's a plus six. Very interesting. There you go. Looks looks yeah. It's a pretty well well built uh, gun throw there. I like it. But yeah. Um. So this this team was actually kind of interesting, more interesting than most, right? Because I ended up losing to a. Uh, oop. I ended up losing to. Uh, gun throw more than anything. I mean, ultimately the rest of these will clean up. Um. But yeah, it was basically the gun throw that that did me in here. Yep. Uh, 
Uh, so they didn't get the pots, which is you know good on your end. That means that you know your team was a little, you had a, they had a focus on my team, and you know the pots weren't exactly free unless they didn't really want them. Oh yeah, they probably didn't want them considering how easy it was to snipe the one over there. <laughs> how easy it is to snipe the one over there on the right. Um, so that's that's the defense for today um, or for this this season. I don't know, that's the wrong one. That's the right one. Uh, go here. Um, right now it's locked in, so I'm probably gonna unlock it, give her the fortress res defense, and. Uh, see how she does the the week after next. Honestly, um, there's not much I can do other than you know. Oh, I have well, I have two merge, two more merges I can put onto uh, Minerva. I have enough to get two more copies, and then I have enough f uh, feathers to get the two more merges. So I'm probably gonna do that. Uh, so the week after next week, when this season rolls around again, I'll probably have the plus eight uh, Minerva and um, the Fortress Res Defense Camilla. Um, but there, like I said, there's not a whole lot I can do right now off the fact that I don't have a really viable um, threat to hitting to hit people on red with. Um, so that's something to consider. Um, what else is there? Yeah, it's not a whole lot else. Um, I'm glad I like the positioning my my uh, healing towers in. Let's go look at. Uh, do I have enough to? Yeah, I have a lot. I should probably boost my healing tower. I think. Not a whole lot else to level up, really. Um, let's just boost it, why not? Healing tower. Uh, get some dew. Okay, good, so now it heals for 35. Um, is that the max level? Let's go see what we get them. Oh, I guess it is, that's pretty interesting. Oh no, here it is, so 2,000 for the next one. Um, so that's pretty good. Uh, what else do I need to upgrade? Panic Manor, of course. Uh, healing Tower, Tactics Room. So these are the three I need to be working on now. Um, I don't really build any of these schools. They're kind of useless. The tower, I did them like a long time ago, but it's very, it's not very useful. Uh, and then I don't, you don't really want to upgrade your Bolt Tower too much, or your Bolt Trap too much. My Healing Tower on offense isn't as useful, and there's not a whole lot I really need on offense other than the Bolt Tower, and that's already kind of maxed out. Um, so there's that, uh, and the, 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 what's it called? The escape ladder as well. Um, but in terms of how it went today, I wouldn't, I don't think it was too bad. Uh, we lost to Tibarn, uh, because their bolt tower brought us out of, uh, guard range. So that was kind of annoying. Uh, gun throw, just ran around sniping everybody. Movement with dancing is, is again, kind of an irritant because I don't have a whole lot of range. We just survive off of like being able to stick in a ball together like we do. Um, what else? Obviously, Bike beat us that one time too. Lysithia went around sniping everybody. Um, no, not not Lysithia. Uh, Ophelia went around sniping everybody. Fortunately, I survived that. But the the what I want to point out there in that case is that like, imagine if it was anybody else, right? If it was like a if it was like a Lysithia, like I say, or um or just some other unit, it might have been um a lot worse. I mean, we ended up losing anyway, right? But it might have been a lot worse in terms of like how easily they would have just taken my team apart. Um, it's kind of one of the reasons why like flyer balls aren't as good or common as they use as they they could be. Um, it's mainly just the fact that like we don't have any range, so you can just kind of pick us off and then move out of the way without too much repercussion. Whereas if you have like a bunch of horses and whatnot, it's like ah, I, I don't know where to stand, I don't know where to go, or I don't have a bunch of one shot nukers either, right? So like you know, we we've seen with Lysithias and and, and Ophelias, it's like to a degree it's like what, what do i do here it's like they're just gonna hit me no matter what i have to figure out how to like tank them or or just sit there which is why the cc vantage strats that i use are, are, are what i use um but yeah so like i said just mainly range is our biggest problem aside from uh not having red threat which is the biggest problem but you know i don't try not to repeat that as much um from from episode to episode uh, but yeah so that'll be it for today finally got a video under uh 30 minutes so um Hopefully you could glean something from this. Um, for one, take some strategies yourself to uh, to beat a flyer ball, as well as take some stuff, some information yourself uh, to build a flyer ball if that's what you want. Um, but yeah, so uh, until next time, uh, don't know if I'll do this next week, depending on how interesting the matches are.